Okay, our second uh, football club history video today is another London club, as I said, and it's Brentford. Uh, they polled an equal percentage of votes as, as Crystal Palace in the recent uh, channel poll that I did for the next clubs or club to have a history video. Brentford and Palace shared the, 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 shared the vote, basically. They were the two most popular out of the list of five clubs that I put up. Now, their nickname is The Bees, and they're currently playing at the Brentford Community Stadium, which is sponsored by GTEC. Uh, so you may hear it called the GTEC Community Stadium. They've been there since 2020, so only a couple of years. Currently seats 17,250. Opening date was delayed a little bit because of COVID, which is a shame. Fantastic stadium. A lot of clubs have done this where they move very close to where they were. Arsenal with the old Highbury moving to the Emirates. It's sort of a similar distance from the old Griffin Park, which I have been to. It was a fantastic old traditional stadium. However, it was on a limited site and it was in desperate need of investment and it actually turned out to be cheaper to build a brand new stadium around the corner. And also, I think I believe Griffin Park had a pub in all four corners. So there you go. And I've been to two of those pubs. So they're founded in 1889, so a lot older than the current Crystal Palace. And they don't apply for the Football League straight away or, or anything like that. Because they joined the Football League in the same year Palace do in 1920. They joined the London League in 1896. Uh, so they're an amateur club playing testimonial games until 1896. Then they joined the Southern League in 1898, which Crystal Palace will join in 1905. So they're rivals from a very early period in, in London. Before they also joined the Football League in 1920. It's another club with no silverware. <laughs> And this is a club that's lost more finals than Palace as well. They have a terrible finals record. Terrible. The, this, now we'll look at some fun, fun facts. So their highest ever league finish uh, was fifth in the old Division 1 in 1935-36. So this is another club that had a, a chance at, at being successful. And their window was a little bit longer than Palace's, I believe, for their, their best opportunity. Uh, they do get to the quarterfinals of the FA Cup a lot. Uh, they've been a League Cup semi-final and they've been League uh, Trophy runners-up three times and they lost four playoff finals. So they, 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 again, another club that's been mediocre. Solid, great fan base, lack of success. So their highest league finish was fifth in 35-36. The FA Cup sixth round or the quarter-final they've been to four times, 37-38, 45-46. And this is another club where I believe World War II really hampered their attempts to win silverware. And 48-49 and 88-89 uh, when they're outside the top flight. League Cup semi-final in the season before uh, they get back to the top flight in the 2020-2021 season. So they nearly made a cup final as a second tier side. Yeah, one of the major cups. That is quite stunning. That hasn't been done for a while. And the League Trophy, they were runners up three times. The 84-85 uh, season, the 2000-2001 season, and the 2010-2011 season. So that's this is where their run of, of, of losing uh, finals uh, starts with the league trophy and the playoffs. They also lost four playoff finals in a row, which is seven finals in a row in total. They felt like they were cursed. They move out of Griff, um, Griffin Park to the new stadium, they win their first final. Coincidence? Uh, so they, when they move stadiums, they finally win uh, a final. Uh, they win the 2020-2021 Championship Playoff Final. So this is another club that has bounced around all the divisions, but they had a very lengthy spell outside the top flight. I believe it was from 1948 until 2021 they were outside the top flight. That is a very, very long time. But since being, inside, being in the Football League, they've not been out of the Football League, but they have played in all four divisions of the Football League. They have bounced around the leagues a lot and haven't had that consistency and that stability in the top flight for a very very long time however they had a very good first season in the premier league they've had a decent start to this season as i'm recording this video and i think they could be a, a, a dark horse an underdog in a, the league cup or the fa cup they could be quite dangerous much like palace i think they get i wouldn't say underappreciated but uh, other teams i don't think quite take them seriously enough. I think Brentford could be quite dangerous. They could cause some big upsets this season. And I do think they could go quite far in the League Cup and FA Cup this season, much like Palace has, uh, did last year with the FA Cup semi-final. Uh, I think I think Brentford could go on a cup run and be quite a dangerous side. Now, their rivals, Fulham and QPR. Fulham is, um, I think, the last club in London I've got to do a video on, apart, apart from Barnet. Uh, that have played in the Football League professionally, at least, uh, in my lifetime. I, so I've got to do Fulham next. I think I'll do that tomorrow. Uh, QPR, we've already done a video on. 
And QPR is another club with a lack of success, although I have won silverware. But Brentford and Palace, these two clubs, really frustrate me. Um, and I've seen Brentford play a lot of times. And I've always had a great experience going to the old Griffin Park. Uh, I have a soft spot for Brentford. I want to see them do well. I've also seen Fulham play a lot of times. And I've seen a Fulham-Brentford Cup match, which uh, was feisty. Um, there were a lot of bookings and there was a couple of serious injuries. And there was crowd a crowd disturbance or, or 10. Uh, there were there were some uh, issues with the crowd being a bit a bit a bit vigorous. People forget that yeah, Brentford and Fulham um, is quite a vicious derby match and QPR. Now Fulham have been a yo-yo club as well um, over recent years, so they have played Brentford a hell of a lot. And QPR have also been stuck in the Championship for quite some time. Again, they would have, they played Brentford a lot in recent times, but over their histories, because these clubs have gone up and down the divisions quite a lot. Uh, Fulham and QPR and Brentford they have played each other a hell of a lot. So that rivalry in West London and that part of West London is, is pretty fierce. I think the rivalry with Chelsea as well will grow over time. They just haven't played Chelsea regularly enough in recent years for that to be a really fierce rivalry. But I think that will grow given time when if they if Brentford can stabilise in the top flight for a decade or so and do what Palace have done recently and become a pretty solid Premier League side. I think that rivalry with Chelsea will grow. But anyway, thank you very, very much. Uh, for watching i really appreciate it please leave your comments in the comment section below and i will have some more content for you very very soon